Hello everybody, welcome back to another Rise of Civilizations video. This is Dragothian here, and today we are going to be talking about what to do not only at server reset time, but also at the weekly server reset time. So today happens to be that day. I was waiting for it to come around so I could do a video for you. And I'm going to give different variations of what to do from free to play all the way up to moderates-ish spender. Um, I wanted to give you an idea of what you should be looking for whenever the server resets every day and then also every week because the weekly reset is when the VIP shop comes into play. So very, very important uh, items that you need to get every week uh, to help you grow your civilization and grow your city. So uh, without further ado, let's get through the menial stuff. Obviously, you want to every time the server refreshes at zero UTC, and 12 UTC, you want to go ahead and start banging out your free chests. Uh, just get those out of the way. And then you want to collect all of your uh, stuff. So Supply Depot, I have the 30-day supply of gems and the 30-day supply of speed-ups. Those are both things that every governor can use 100% um, of the time. So, And as far as the value goes, definitely uh, worth it to me. I usually get those whenever it's a, uh, a gem recharge event so that I know I'm going to spend them anyway. I might as well go ahead and get those to get the 2,500 gem requirement for when um, for when we need to get the 2,500 a day to get the recharge reward. So that's usually what I do. And then same thing with this little thing. I don't even know how much you get. It doesn't tell you. <laughs> I've never sat there and done the calculations. Um, okay, so what's next? Uh, definitely let's go to the courier shop. So here's where there's going to be a little bit of variation. Um, free to play definitely want to just do the first two so you get the first wave and then you get the second wave for free um, so let's go through it on the top row I only get the 90% or above because once you see once we go into the VIP shop uh, you can get 80% uh, or higher for any resource in the VIP shop you want so there's no reason from a, a need standpoint to get anything 80% or below on the gem required uh, resources and then for the non gem required so the, the resource uh, purchased items that's just free resources so we're going to take them and we're going to buy them every single time um, for food and wood uh, for stone and for gold right now i don't need uh, them that bad to where i'm trading food and wood for for those two items however once i get to t5 that may change and i have a feeling that it probably will so um, just kind of keeping that in mind as a caveat. Uh, we may want to revisit this topic whenever I get my T5 and start uh, cranking out T5 units and, and all that good stuff because I believe gold is going to be uh, hard to come by. So um, so top row is done. Second row, I need every single uh, generic speed up I can get. I need every single healing speed up I can get. So this whole row is mine. It is now mine. I purchased it, and I will purchase it every single time because <laughs> I need resources. Uh, I need speed up so bad. And then same thing for uh, tomes of knowledge. I will buy every single tome of knowledge. I don't care what the discount is, because they're they're a scarcity. They're they're a highly in demand commodity. And yes, you can farm barbs. Yes, you can farm barb forts. But there's no other thing out there where you can press a button and experience goes up instantly. Um, I need that. And I've, there's so many commanders in this game to level up that there, there's, I don't think there's going to be a time sometime this year where I will have too much experience. It just won't happen. So I will purchase those every single time. Resources, gems, doesn't matter. It's going to happen. So let's use our first free refresh. And again... Up at the top, everything's 80%, so I'm not going to touch them. I'm not going to buy them. I don't need them. Now, again, generic, absolutely. Research, absolutely. Health, absolutely. And another generic. Now, again, in my previous spending guide video, I recommended um, you know anything 70% or above, 60% sometimes, depending on if you really need it. I am in a position where I need every speed up that's not a building speed up I can get my hands on because I have just counting up left in research alone I've got just for one set of t1 it's going to be 60 days 
after I get all my helps. I still have one training of uh, medical court, one training of combined arms, and one training of encampment left. And that will max out my entire um, my entire army tree. And then for the economic one, I've still got uh, medicinal use. Is that right? No. I can't remember. It's, there's a couple. Of, we'll go into it. But um, cutting and polishing one left. Uh, machinery is one left as well. So I, there's a couple left there. All, all together, days-wise, we're probably talking about 300 days of speed-ups needed. Just to, just those last few. Uh, I thought I was so close. But turns out I had like five years of speed-ups that I needed to get. Something like that. So um, definitely needed more than I had. And and now I'm at the point where I've invested so much in, into what I'm doing that I just need to get speed ups every chance I get. And as far as the health ones go, that is strictly for Ark of Osiris. That is the only reason I'm buying them. Um, I don't speed up my healing in uh, normal gameplay because to be honest with you, I don't really, we don't really fight in our kingdom that often. And when we do, it's pretty quick and over quickly. Everybody's heads prevail and um, we cool off a bit. So um, those healing speed ups are 110% towards Ark of Osiris because you will need them, especially if you start fighting some folks that are a little bit higher. Um, you're going to be needing to, to burn through, I would say at least 10 days. If you, if it's a, if it's a complicated opponent, five to 10 days of speed ups is what you need every single time you hit Ark of Osiris. So you need to be buying all those healing, uh, speed ups that you can. Just a quick tip. Um, I do need a 24 hour, um, stone gathering thing. So, uh, or a stone production thing. So I'm going to buy that. Normally I would not touch that. So just a little side note. And again, tome going to buy it every single time. I don't get these stars unless they are purchased with resources. If they're resources, then I'll buy them. So an epic or a legendary star of any quality, if it's resource purchasable, I'll I'll buy it. But if it's not, then it's not to me. It's not worth the gems. You get them enough in the game to where you 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 aren't really hurting that much. Uh, okay, so here's where the free to play ends. All right, if you're free to play, you can stop right here and uh, continue going through your your you know reset ritual. Um, this is where I'm going to differ at least right now. I think I've stated a million times in the last few videos that you've seen with me, I need speed ups and I'm in search of any and every way where I can get discounted speed ups because at this point I keep burning through entire stockpiles of speed ups on an hourly basis because of how many days it requires. And let me tell you this, I've got every max research uh, percentage that you can get. I've got the scientist title. I've got a rune. I've got VIP 15. So that's the maximum that you can get there too. I've got the technology in our alliance completely maxed out for research. And I've got my personal um, research buff maxed out with mathematics. So I've got everything you can get in the game. And it still takes years, <laughs> years to level this stuff up. I don't know how Lilith expects anybody in their right mind to not have to pay for this stuff. And of course, you know, we live in a capitalist society, at least the majority of us, right? So I get it. We're, you know, their business, they want to make money and they make it very difficult for somebody who doesn't want to pay to play. Um, but to me, this is a little excessive. I think, you know, instead of it needing you know, five, six years for a free to play to hit T5. Cause it, it's going to take that long guys. I'm sorry to tell you, it's going to take that long. If you don't pay money, it's going to take like three years to, to hit T5. It just is. You're not going to have enough speed ups. It's not the resources and it's not even the, it's, it's not even, you know, getting what you need. It's, it's speed ups. It is speed ups. If you don't do speed ups, you're going to take forever to, to get this done. I hate to burst your bubble and I don't want to, Put a damper on the video because we got a lot more to talk about but that's that's kind of where it's at speed ups are the name of the game so with that in mind 
I am going to refresh this as many times as it will let me. So it goes 100, 200, 300, and 400. And every time, almost every single time, I'm, I'm buying the entire row of speed ups. Unless it's a building speed up, I'm buying it. So hopefully we get some hour ones and things like that. Uh, whether it's gems or whether it's resources, it's it's going in my inventory because I need it. So let's hit it. Okay, there's a 90% one. I'm going to grab that. Same thing with that. All right, so there's a resource one. Let me just tap that a few times so I don't have to keep seeing that window. Uh, okay, so we can buy all these. And again, I don't care about the percentage just because I need them. Like it, Anything is better than 0% because I got to the point there where I was just smashing the um, you know, 30-day, 40,000 gem button. That And that was painful. But at the same time, Unless you wanted to wait another, you know, three months, even paying, you know, paying a lot of money into the game, um, which I haven't done that much. But, you know, if you're doing it, you would be taking forever. So, um, all right. So, again, tomes, I'm getting those. And we're going to refresh again. 90%. 90%. 90%. And let's see. Yeah, all those again. So that's why I say this is worth it. Um, if you tend to get building speed ups, then I would say don't do this. But um, to me, it's much better to, to shell out 300 gems to get access to a, 10 hours at 70% off uh, in gems. It just is. It's a lot cheaper than paying full price for those same, same 10 hours. It just, it just works out from the math a lot better. It's a more efficient way of spending your gems for speed ups and this is the only other way that i can find that will allow me to do it all right so i don't need anything else in here oh that's actually not bad 70 percent off for that does not come around very often i'm gonna get it um generally those are 50 percent off in the shop and then sometimes i'll see it 60 percent off on that row but very rarely does that come at um 70 percent so when i see it i buy it because we need that for aqua osiris for you know KBK whenever it comes out, all that good stuff. This is a really good one. Yeah, I mean, I needed all of them. Heal, uh, training, and generic. As long as it's not building, I'm going to buy it. All right, nothing else there. All right, this is the last one. And again, this is where the free-to-play don't need to do it necessarily, but if you've got a stockpile of gems, it's not a bad idea to do this. You're getting a lot of value for your gems. You're not just wasting them. You're getting a lot of value because, again, you're going to need all of this stuff um, whenever the time comes for you to start pushing for T5. You're just you're going to need it. All right, so there's a building one, so I don't need that one. I will get the generic one right there and another generic one. And I do need a gold one of those too. All right, so that's it. <laughs> that's the courier shop. And, again... Two refreshes for free to play. You can do a couple more if you um, have some excess gems. I, again, I need them. I need those speed ups, so it's worth it um, for me to do it. And whenever I'm burning through these technology researches, so again, just to show you where I'm at, um, I've gotten all the way to the point where I just have these right here, and then one more in cutting and polishing, and I'm done. And then same thing for my war research. Um, I just got these three left. And I will be able to start my T5 infantry. So I'd say within the next day or two, I should be hitting this button right here. Right, right there. <laughs> hitting that button and hitting train. Or hitting research. Um, and then crying because I probably don't have enough speed ups to speed it up. <laughs> so then I'm going to have to keep you know, continuing to farm those uh, speed ups. But, okay, uh, next thing. So, again, anytime you see your recruit button, keep refreshing it. Just keep plowing through it. Um, these give you some speed ups too, which is nice, but they're usually on the smaller end with the silver keys. Usually you're starting to kind of get these things through as well as you're starting to do your daily ritual. Um, nothing else crazy there. All right, let's go to uh, the expedition. So this is another way to get speed ups. So, again, I'm in the mission for hunting down speed ups. That's my that's my thing right now. And 
Uh, you get a lot of XP from this, which is definitely really good. 171,000 XP every day is very nice. So I did finish uh, level 70 on the expedition, and I did not need to use any army expansions or attack bonuses or any of that stuff. It was just straight raw troops and commanders. So, uh, And again, I still have my T4, so it's not uh, outside of possibility for everybody that's watching this to be able to do it you really just need the troop count the troop count and as, as high level commanders as you can get uh, that are bringing a tank to the table preferably a richard and a either charles or yulji whichever one's higher and then you want a damage dealing uh army like um like a pelagius and minamoto or minamoto and chow chow or some kind of cavalry group like that um and then I've got a, a second damage dealing group that's AOE based, which doesn't help you on level 70, but all the other ones, it definitely helps you with uh, Sun Tzu and YSG pairing together with all my archers. And then I've got a buffing group with, um, I use Joan of Arc and Scipio, just so there's a little bit of uh, defense to keep that buff going a long time. And then I use a final group usually with like... Uh, Lohar, and sometimes I'll do Cleopatra just for the defense buff, but it's not really needed. Once you have enough troops, you can pretty much just put whoever you want in there, and it'll be just fine. Um, but I'll do a video on that, too. I know there's plenty of videos out there on doing it, but a lot of them I've seen require, you know, use your attack buff and use all these other buffs, and you really don't need to do that. I'll show you how to do that um, once you have enough troops or proper Properly leveled commanders are the same way. So um, let's go into the shop. Uh, to tell you the truth, I haven't um, I haven't used gems to keep going on these. I'll usually get a star here, and any kind of speed up I will get. Uh, I've got pretty much all these folks anyway. It looks like the new commander of the week is uh, Bybars, by the way. Um, I will level him up at some point, but he's not a priority. I've got Sun Tzu. Ooh, whoa, I need that. And, I mean, I, I hate El Cid, but I'll take him. He's sitting there. That's the first time that's happened in months. <laughs> so I will take him all day. Uh, I'll take that star, too. Wow, I kind of want to do that uh, that refresh to see if it gives me another. Should I do it? They haven't. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Oh, they, they got me. Okay. I'll get that, and I'll get the, the training thing. Okay. It was, it was worth the 100 gems just to. Just to check it out and see if they were going to give it to me. But, um, again, every, every day you do your, you redo your expedition stuff um, and get stuff like that. And if you get, obviously, any gold sculptures available to purchase, you purchase them every single time if you've got if you've got the expedition points, which you should. And, again, I think, it, I think you get it was 61 or 6,200 expedition points after you hit level 70 every single day. Um, I would start stacking those up if you haven't already. I needed to max out, um, I think it was Belisarius last week. So I, I purchased a bunch of his sculptures just to have a secondary commander, cavalry commander, uh, to command a second group of cavalry whenever I get to that point of having two full groups of cavalry on the field for Ark of Osiris. I wanted to have a mobility commander um, to lead my side whenever the <clears throat> whenever the time comes. So. I burned a lot of my expedition points there. Plan on re, re, um, rebuilding those up. However, um, when you see two gold sculptures, you you buy them every time. So there's nothing to wait on for that. All right. So next thing I do is I go to my VIP, VIP thing and I'll collect my VIP points, which I don't need anymore because I'm max level on VIP. And then I get my chest. Now this is this is the this is the most fun part of the whole thing. So three legendary sculptures, gold key, 15K in Tome of Knowledge. Everything else is just kind of hot garbage. But really you're looking at the legendary commander sculpture and the golden key. And I'll always use more tomes, although I don't think for VIP VIP 15, you should only get 15,000 experience. It just doesn't make sense to me. We should be getting quite a bit more for the amount of investment it takes to get to this point. Um, you definitely need to up your game on that Lilith. But I will take the three legendary sculptures every single day. That's going to be fantastic. Uh, and I, I always take a gold key. Now, some other things. Um, I already purchased them, but I, I get these three every day. The only reason I do that is because of the 
uh, Treasure of Martell's Heart. Uh, this used to be called Warlord's Chest, or maybe it's called Warlord's Chest on the Chow Chow servers. So I may be mistaken on that, Jazz. But um, yeah, Treasure of Martell's Heart. This gives you the chance to get... Now, here's another thing that really irks me. Randomly grants you 1 to 10 Charles Martell sculptures, a legendary commander sculpture, an epic commander sculpture, a silver key, or a golden key. Or being the key word. <laughs> because when you start reading this, you're like, oh, I'm going to get at least one golden sculpture, right? And I'm sure everybody's probably had this thought. Um, but... But... You don't have gummies anymore? Yeah, don't. Okay, that's great. <laughs> Hop out, bud. <laughs> what are you doing? Let me see. Yeah, it's on the tree. <laughs> it's totally on the tree. You always like the videos. This is my son. <laughs> Dad, you always like the videos. Well, you want to be in the video? Yeah. Okay, come here. You're awesome. There you go. You're awesome. You guys are awesome. Your hair's a mess. You said you guys are awesome. I know. <laughs> all right. So, all right. Let me go ahead and keep talking, all right? And then you can just do your thing. What? How's that sound? <laughs> okay. That's awesome. Okay. All right. So, uh, again, this doesn't guarantee that you're going to get 1 to 10 Charles sculptures. It's if you get the, the selection of the Charles Martel sculpture, you'll get 1 to 10. Um, <laughs> I'm going to be doing a video as well on, um, it's probably going to be two weeks. I had a uh, alliance, I had an alliance mate that said uh, he wanted to see it for a month, but I need Charles Martel sculptures for uh, my infantry group in Ark yeah, of Osiris. Awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, I like that. Oh, that's cool. I like that game. Hey, you want to, you want to do the resources? Go ahead and yeah. do the resources. All right. There you go. <laughs> there you go. All right. Good job, bud. Let me see. That scream has right. a magic. It has magic? Yeah. Okay. So clearly the video is getting derailed here, but um, mm -hmm. that's one of the last things I do. And then, of course, if I have uh, farm openings here, I'll send the farm uh, out to start to start off since I'm already in the game. Um, in this case, too, I also... Where am I at? I'm also, again, burning through... Uh, research so mm -hmm. I'm also getting this rune just to refresh my rune because it's gone away already and I think I'm probably uh -huh. well, I'm halfway on the helps so I That's got a little bit of time awesome. left there Wyatt chill buddy <laughs> <laughs> calm down man like alright so um, that's, that's basically it and again I know the video just kind of got sidetracked here but he wanted to come in here and say hi uh, I'll be having him on whenever I have some keys to do. In fact, if you want, let's go ahead and do a couple just to preview since we've got some stuff here. Yeah. All right. You want to open the chest? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> let's see which guy. You got to look up at the screen when you do it. What's in it? All right. That's pretty good. Keep going. Yeah. There you go. Which, I'm do that four more times. Which one is which guy are we going to get? I don't know. Which one's your favorite? No. Okay. Oh, no. So no more. All right. Oh no, we no. didn't get a guy. Here, do this one. Okay. Let's it's see if we get a guy. Let's see if we get a guy. Ooh. Ooh. Where's the guy? I don't know. I'm hoping to see a. There we go. <gasps> oh, we got this guy. Who's he? That's Yuji. Yeah, Yuji. How's it? How do you get in this guy? That was a pretty good one. Yeah, Yuji's okay. also. All done. Oh, they're all gone. Yeah. Okay, good job. All right, number five. All I right. didn't know those treasure chests. <laughs> Why did the other treasure chests have Yugi? Yuji. Yugi just have that in Yugi. the treasure chest. <laughs> Yugi got in that treasure chest. Oh my goodness! I knew it. All right. I knew. All right, so that's what I do um, every time the server resets and every time um, the week resets. <laughs> now, the last thing I do um, is going to be the VIP shop. And again, um, this is going to vary depending on your variation of free-to-play to spender. 
always buy the stuff that requires resources and then certainly speed up some basic uh, recovery points. Mm -hmm. Definitely need that. Um, so I get all this stuff just because it's resources. I mean, w why not? And then let's see what else. Let's get this and... Got some money. All right. So those are all the things that require resources. Mm -hmm. Now, again, I'm going to be doing a VIP 15 video as well just to show y'all what everything is and how much it costs and all that good stuff um, and what's worthwhile and what's not. Uh, right now, we've already basically Daddy, made... Yeah. Do you have your soda in here? There's no soda in here, bud. I said you have your soda. I think the soda's in the kitchen. You want to go get it? Yeah, let's go get your soda. Okay, go get the soda. Let's go get your soda. Go get it. Where did your soda go? Where's your soda? I don't know, bud. You have to go find it. <laughs> okay, so I'll try to get this through this real quick, guys. I apologize. Um, all right, so I will always get the XP, um, the XP books. I will always get the... Uh, the speed ups, because again, we've made that perfectly clear. We need speed ups in the worst way. Um, I don't get the golden keys uh, unless I'm wanting some extra for a video or uh, I'm feeling really lucky and I'll grab a couple. Um, that's the only way I really do that. Again, speed ups. Okay, well, go, ahead and, go ahead and drink it, buddy. It's fine. You can have it. Uh, speed ups again. Speed ups again. I will buy those. And so here's where it starts getting really dicey as we get farther and farther down. What are you doing, man? I'm coming up. You are. Yeah. All right. So here's where VIP 13 to 15 come in. Now, again, we've, we've established I need speed ups. So Can I'm going to get all of these. Oh, you want to you get seen again? Here you go. <laughs> there you go. You can't see me. Oh, I can see you. Everybody can see you. So again, I bought all 24-hour speed-ups. That was 20. All right, sorry about that. He decided to beeline out of the uh, the room, so I figured I'd cut that part out. Um, so sorry for the hard cut there. But uh, just to quickly continue, um, you know, with the VIP shop, uh, every single week I will buy the speed-ups, um, especially with what I'm doing. And again wherever you're at whether you're you know vip 10 or vip 7 or wherever you're at whatever speed ups you have access to if you've got gems that's as good a use as you could put them to um if your goal is eventually at some point t5 um again i'm right there so i'm i'm burning every single gem that i can find for for speed ups but um it's just <laughs> Again, the theme of most of my videos these past few past few videos have been speed up, speed up, speed ups because of how much you need. So um, I'm still doing those. Again, I I could you know be one of those players that drops you know five ten grand into the game and just hits the the gem button to to finish all right away. I just I can't do that. I I can't uh, spend my money like that. So um, I am doing it the most ep economical way that I know how. Trying to find the different values that I could find through the VIP shop, through the courier shop, um, you know, through the bundles that you can get, um, you know, obviously doing barbarians and, and barbarian forts and, and the different events that you get access to every day. Anytime there's speed ups that way, I try and get those every single time. It's just, it's, they're hard to come by. And if you're not doing it the whole time um, and really saving for that purpose, that's where you run into trouble where I'm at, where I'm right there, but I'm staring a, a wall of uh, time in the face and needing speed ups to push through that wall. So that's where all my gems are going right now are, are basically that. Now the other thing, um, you know, again, we were talking about legendary commander sculptures. Um, once you get access to VIP 13, these unlock. Um, legendary commander sculptures are rare because the universal kind at least and certainly all the other ones are too but the universal kinds are very rare because you only get them generally on events 
on wheel spins, on um, you know bundles that you can purchase, which I don't recommend purchasing the Living Legend bundle if that's uh, what we're talking about here. Um, I really don't know of a way where you can just go find them. So if you are lucky enough to get the VIP 13, the Legendary Commander Sculpture sellable in the VIP shop to me is worth it because you can't really buy them anywhere else. Um, they're not available for sale. So this is the only place that I know of where you can buy them. Um, now again, it's 40,000 gems for all 20. That's a lot. Uh, that's a lot of gems. That's it's like 150 bucks in the shop if you just bought gems after your first purchase. If you buy your first purchase, it's like if you equate it out um, ratio wise, it's about 80 bucks. But after your first purchase of that 25,000 pack, um, it's uh, 30. You get 30,000 for 100 bucks, so it's like 120, 130 bucks for uh, for 40,000 gems. So. Just kind of think about that uh, as you're starting to ramp up your way to VIP 13. But this does unlock, and it is worthwhile if you've got the gems to to use. I'm I'm hesitant to use them this time because I don't know the gems that I've got. I don't know how far they're going to take me towards getting ultimately my first T5 troop starting to train. That's my goal right now. Uh, I. I do need legendary commander sculptures. I've got two points to to hit on uh, Richard to max him out. I've got tons of other legendary commanders that I need to level up. So it's not like I can't put these to good use, but uh, there's a priority <laughs> right now. My priority is T5. I think my commanders are good enough uh, until I get them maxed out with T5. Certainly they're good enough with T4 right now, but with T5 they'll be even better and um, they'll be a good stopgap until I can start racking up all these uh, sculptures to really start maxing out my commanders. You really need to have one or the other, and if you've got a little bit of one and also the other, it's even better, and that's kind of the position I'm in right now. My commanders are probably, I, I would put them in the 80% range, most of them. Some of them are in the 100% range, but majority of the legendary ones, with the exception of Minamoto and uh, Hannibal Barca, are all almost expertise, but they're not all quite there, so... Uh, they're good enough for government work, and uh, they do some good work on the battlefield. So, uh, That being said, um, this is another thing that intrigues me. Uh, the fact that you can get 23 of them is pretty sweet, uh, especially once I get T5 and I get all the T5 un troops unlocked. i got a feeling I'm going to be burning through these guys at a rapid pace. And um, the, the downside to this is you get these, right? And then you got to use speed ups to burn through them because it's like, <laughs> it's like 40 days <laughs> of, uh, well, no, it's, it's maybe, um, 15 days of actual troop training time for one of these gold level five reserves roughly. Um, so, I mean, that's, you know, it is what it is. You do what you got to do. So, um, I think I'm going to wrap it up there again. I've kind of been all over the place here. I got a little sidetracked with my son. I do appreciate you hanging in there. Apologize for him uh, screaming right whenever uh, Yulji popped up. Uh, I thought it was funny though, so uh, hopefully y'all read, read the uh, the description below and I gave you the full warning that he would be screaming right into the microphone. wasn't too bad, but it was still enough to to wake up some people. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, if I missed anything, please put it in the comments below and I'll certainly reply back to you and let you know that I missed it and talk about it. Uh, otherwise, I think I covered everything. Um, most of it was the daily reset stuff, but there was some weekly things with the VIP shop uh, being the weekly reset, so certainly something that I wanted to get out there on the video too. Um, hope you all enjoyed, and again, hope you enjoy conquering your world, and uh, cheers. I'll see you all next time. Take care.